Hi, so today I'm going to be carrying on with my Hogwarts House tiny home build series and today we are doing Hufflepuff. So for the shape, if you didn't see, this is my Gryffindor home here. It's like a mini burrow, it's great. But inside I made it a really awkward shape. Even though it's so cute and cozy, it was kind of hard to build in. So with the Hufflepuff one, I've made it a bit more square and I just wanted to see if everything fitted in here, which is probably what I should have done in the other build. But anyway, we learned don't we? For wallpaper, we are gonna have to go for yellow. Maybe not that yellow, do you know what I mean? Maybe like an old newt type of yellow. You know when he had his old scar from the 1920s in school? I think that's so pretty. I've actually, the necklace I wear is a mini picket. Like look at him, he's so cute. Now I have a friend who's a Hufflepuff and she told me that she wants a fireplace, hot chocolate, cozy rugs, plants. She said she wants fucking everything. <laughs> Is what she actually told me. So um, that is what we're going to try and fit in this space. So I'm going to take this flooring from base game. For yellow walls, I might just go into the colours here and press yellow just to see what we get. This plain but pretty, I feel like that might be the perfect Hufflepuff colour. That's actually really cute. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't done, oh my god, we haven't even done the outside. Oh, right, okay, let's start with the roof. For roofing, I'm going to take this one and just pull it across both ways. I'm going to bring it up and bring it in and we're going to pull this bit down and take this little roof piece and definitely readjust it so it fits i'm going to raise it on a little platform i might actually just move the house slightly back why didn't the roof go with it i'm going to take this fence in from cottage living and just make a little garden i'm thinking actually of giving the hufflepuffs a little cow so i'm going to need a maybe a bit bigger garden than the rest i'm just going to extend it all the way back here this bit in the middle is going to be like the communal bit where they can all come and talk and have like a little barbecue thing that'd be really cute. For the outside then, I want to raise this on the platform slightly. Maybe that's too much slightly. I'm going to go into cottage living and find the cow shed. It might be bigger than I remember though, so I'm not sure if I've got enough space. We do have chickens, so maybe it could just be chickens. How big? Oh, okay. The animal shed is like, okay, it's bigger than the house. Okay. We're not going to have the animal shed. We're going to have the chicken coop. I think I might just change the fencing colour to a lighter brown. I feel like for this house, I'm definitely going to be using a lot of lighter shades of brown compared to what I did for the Gryffindor house over there. We're still gonna need a chimney. So, oh, we could, oh, we could add that to it on the side. That's, that's cute. I'm gonna add this chimney from Discovery University. And then I'm still not sure what to go for the outside colors. So I might just go in and find some light brown shades. For windows, Hufflepuff like a lot of light. So I'm gonna try and find big windows. I say big windows and then I find these ones from Cottage Living. That's so cute though. Oh, that looks great. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. And because we've got the bathroom just in the corner there, I'm going to go in with these two windows just so it doesn't look a bit strange having a giant window in the bathroom. Now, we know that Professor Sprout loves her gardening, so I'm going to go in to the cottage living pack and find the little soil so they can plant all they want. Oh, that's cute. Okay, we're going to add one of them as well. Oh, we could add these fl yeah, okay, flowers everywhere. And then for over here, I really want to go into Deberg and find some pumpkins to put there. Look at how pretty this tree is from Deberg. Honestly, Deberg is great. And look how it's hanging. Oh my God, that's so pretty. I really want to add more things like a tractor and the trailer and all this equipment, but we really don't have the room because it's got to be tiny. I have scattered the flowers all the way around, but I still want to add more. I'm going to add a few objects into here, but I'm going to keep one open so you can go use this and actually plant some things. I'm going to extend this all the way out on the stairs here. Instead, I'm going to add some decorations. I'm going to take the same flooring and add it to the outside. And in the corner over here, I can add maybe like a rocking chair. That could be cute. Okay, change of plan. I'm going to put the rocking chair over here. And then in the corner, I can put one of the hay bales because that classes as a seat. I want to add some ivy around the house, but I did add ivy around the Gryffindor house. And as a Gryffindor myself, I know we can be a bit messy and a bit out of place, but I feel like Hufflepuffs might be more precise about what they want. Don't worry, that little bit of flowers is annoying me as well. I will get rid of it. Okay, so for now, the outside is done. Let's actually go inside and sort this layout out. The layout out. The kitchen, I feel like it's gonna be kind of an easy layout, but where to put it? <laughs> My friend wanted a fireplace, so I'm gonna try and squeeze one in somewhere, but honestly, all the fireplaces are huge. A base game one could fit perfectly in there. We would have to, right, we're gonna get rid of a window. Sacrifices must be made. And then a telly could go above that. Okay, that, that actually
actually kind of works handy. We could change the color of that to match the yellow a bit better. I feel like we're gonna have to go for cottage living in this house. It's just perfect. And the yellow swatch is actually so cute. Potentially wondering if I put the door there, will that be usable against the fire? I don't see why that wouldn't work because then we could have like a proper kitchen over here. We might actually be able to fit everything I want in this shape. Who'd have thought? Oh, that's a baker's dream though. What colors does that come in? Actually, do you know what? That's, that's kind of pretty. I, I can work with that. That's fine. The sink is going to have to go right by the oven though, which I know some people won't like, but it's got to be done. I think that corner space is enough to cook on. I honestly think we've got enough room for a, a little dining table in here. I am going to have to figure out the money situation though, because mother load isn't working. I think we need to go get a sim. Why is a Gryffindor bed just chilling in the middle there? Oh yeah. If you didn't see my Gryffindor house everything was glitching like mad so I was randomly putting them everywhere it wasn't working so if one appears that's why now we do have the Henry Puffer pack which is based on Harry Potter and honestly it's perfect it even has some Hufflepuff merch in there and you can put them separate which is oh it's happening again this kept happening in the last one is so annoying but now I'll just put a yellow bed in the corner we could go for a yellow little circle table I'm gonna take these chairs from dream home decorator they even have a little yellow cushion on which is so cute we have room for a dresser over here so let's go find a small one we've got these from werewolves which honestly are kind of perfect because they remind me of going to Hogwarts Oh, we actually have one from the Henry Puffer pack, which literally is from Hogwarts. Oh, that's cute. It's got yellow in. Oh, I don't know which one to go for. Okay, we're gonna go for that. Above it, I need a mirror somewhere. So we're gonna put one above there. But we've got the bathroom. Put one in the bathroom. It's fine. We'll put a pretty picture on the wall, shall we? I'm thinking maybe something like this from Tiny Living could work in this house. These are all cute and cozy, which I feel like a Hufflepuff is definitely cute. We could go for the socks. That could be cute in the bathroom somewhere. That could be one of the Hufflepuff skills it's just like this little crochet bird oh that's so cute we've also got this from the pack and i love how in this they've literally made simlish houses and for hufflepuff it's this little rabbit i think i can actually place some things on that corner there well i'm hoping i mean if these two little plants don't go there then nothing is gonna go there is it so i'm just gonna have to do it myself why is that just gone on there perfectly now honestly and then if we go get a little side table oh okay not the yellow i was hoping for i kind of wanted oh this yellow but I don't know if I like the top it's quite dark isn't it this one here I love this one has it got like it's got that yellow that's pretty although I might actually change the color of the fireplace back to the default color because I think that works better and then I, I want some sort of shelving there but I'm not sure what because I don't want it to block the telly too much oh look at this tiny little apron that's cute that can live there and I might put this in the corner over here actually just so they can I think this helps your guy gardening skill oh no wait that one that's so much cuter look at the little wellies we could go for this little crafts board and i might go for the blue and yellow again because then that doesn't block the telly and honestly the sims don't care they'll still watch it if we spin around and do over here i'm gonna right i'm gonna have to readjust that because that's annoying me i do want to add fairy lights everywhere as well and change the color of the lighting because i feel like that really helps to set the mood in the houses and it really does change the way the houses look i do need to add curtains still i was thinking for curtains like the little shutter thing but they're oh these oh my god okay no them them these curtains are just perfect even when they're really little that's cute and then over here got so much room i don't know what we could put there i guess we could fit maybe like a little bookshelf and they can still get through but not that one this one from high school park is actually really handy because it's quite flat as well i'm gonna move it over just a little bit because i want to have this little space here to put their shoes and things i think i might go for this rug from high school underneath the table i'm kind of tempted to even leave it in that swatch <laughs> but they do have a yellow okay we need a little rug by the door over here i think i'm gonna take this one from the is it the campers kit i love like the textures it comes in over here in the corner we could go for maybe the cottage living one has a nice rug that's very cute actually okay i'll leave that for now because i still want to clutter but we'll finish off the bathroom luckily i did test this and everything fits oh there is a willow in my bathroom i'm gonna move the fridge out of the way so i can see what i'm doing first i feel like the bathroom is a perfect place to put plants in for the hufflepuffs i'm gonna go for this marble tile from base game and i think i'm gonna go for a lighter shade of yellow so i'm gonna go for this one from base game oh no but the toilet's right there isn't 
gonna oh that's not gonna work now oh no what if i do this okay i am gonna have to get a sim in to test this i think for the bathroom she can wash her hands okay great can she go for a wee like it's not even saying she can go there it's just glitching okay she can take a shower Great. Right, can she use the toilet then? No, the glitch just keeps going. Right, can you wash your hands? Okay, you can wash your hands. It's the toilet that's the issue now. I've seen people do it and it works. How do people make it work in the three tiles? What about if I like scooch it over right in the corner? Okay, we'll start with we'll start with the sink. Can you wash your hands? Oh, <gasps> she can wash her hands. Okay, great. Right, can you take a shower? <gasps> she can take a shower. Can she can she pee? <gasps> okay. Fab. Okay, it's functional. Right, now please get out. Oh, and she started to make food. Well, at least she can use the corner and the bathroom is usable, which is great. Although the only thing I can really add in there is some little curtains. And I think I'm going to change the toilet. Ooh, a realm of magic toilet's pretty. Right, I think that's going to have to do for the bathroom because I don't want to put anything else in there and it blocks and doesn't work. Ooh, what is she watching? A dinner party? Fun. Right, back over here. I need to add maybe like a little umbrella stand. I feel like we need more plants as well. I love that there's even a yellow umbrella. I'm going to grab the shoes from Dream Home Decorate. Oh, I could put a little llama on top. That's cute. We're gonna need more flowers. I really want to use the Henry Puffer pack a bit more. So I'm gonna go in and get all the custom content up. Oh, we have got this. This is really pretty. That's just so cozy and nice. I love that. That flower even fits there. We have got this as well. So I'm gonna move that plant over. Oh wait, these chairs could have been nicer actually. Okay, hold on. Which ones look better? I love that. I'm like, which ones look better? No one's there. Maybe one day if I go live. Would you even watch me if I go live? I don't know. Oh, we've got these ones. Oh, I don't know now. Yeah, I think I prefer them. Can put more flowers on the top over there. We have got wall flowers as well. So I'm going to shrink them down and pop them on the wall. That's the thing. Sometimes you don't want to put too much things on the wall because it'll block the doors. But you need something. Down here, there is a little basket of blankets I want to put there. I think it's from Cottage Living. Got a little picnic basket. I want to add that somewhere. And add it on the little chest of drawers here. <gasps> Oh, it even opened. That's cute. Oh, that one. That opens as well. Why is that so cute? Okay, I'm gonna go for the round shape one. Right, what was I actually looking for? Oh, I can't remember. Blanket. Blankets. There we go. It's a bit big, so I am gonna size it down. And then there is some really cute swatches, which I never even noticed. Like, look at the cat. That's so cute. We've got the pumpkin in the Gryffindor house. I feel like it just suits this colour as well. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go in and add a couple more bits and then we'll be done with our Hufflepuff tiny home. Sims have ruined my house. They've been in there two seconds and they've got these loads of food everywhere. Look at the state of this place. And now my mouse battery is going. Like, look at all this food. Why? Right, now the Sims have gone away because they were ruining everything. Let me give you a tour of the house. So here is the outside. How cute is it? You got a little chicken coop. You can go garden. You can get all your skills up. It's so cute. And then you come in through the entry and look how cute it is. Honestly, I love it so much. It's so lush. Like, it's so pretty. I actually did a poll as well on my community tab. Um, most people that follow me are Hufflepuffs, which is actually kind of funny because one of my most popular videos is extreme violence. So I know what you Hufflepuffs are like, actually. My best, one of my best friends is a Hufflepuff. And then in here is the bathroom, but I didn't want to put too much in because I want it to be functional. But I mean, it is, which is great. If you want to follow me a community tab, you need to go click all notifications and turn them all on. That way, when I do post you can see them all the time because YouTube is really funny about things like that and it's very annoying. But yeah this is my tiny house Hufflepuff Hogwarts edition. What do you think in the comments down below? I really like this house. I think it's so cute and cozy but let me know if you're Hufflepuff down below what you think in a nice way. Some people get very defensive over these kind of builds. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and get monetized and I will see you in the next one soon. Bye.